The name Moss Creek originated from the field of moss. The area was named by Governor Philip to reflect the military association with new settlers at that time. This video intends to teach people about the biocultural values of Mars Creek, why they are important to understand in environmental management, and outlines how these values could be recorded as data to aid in the area's assessment, development, and protection. So, what are biocultural values? These refer to the cultural and spiritual values of biodiversity. For example, indigenous people have complex relationships to the land and sea, its animals and plants. To these people, the land and sea have deep spiritual, economic, social, protective and recreational significance. Why is this important? Human cultures co-evolve with their environment and therefore the conservation of biological diversity can also be important for cultural identity. When we understand biocultural values of our environment, we are made aware of a wide range of living organisms and that we are all interdependent on this earth. It shapes our perspectives and actions in environmental management. Mars Creek drains from the suburb of Marsfield and flows for over a kilometre from Macquarie University under the M2 motorway toll plaza at Macquarie Park and enters Lane Cove River nearby. Majority of the area is dry sclerophyll forest. The wet sclerophyll forests are found along the wetlands, characterized by a scenic landscape and diverse flora. The area is filled with typically Australian vegetation type, having plants with hard, short, and often spiky leaves, which is a condition closely associated with low soil fertility. The surrounding environment of the creek is highly modified. Moss Creek is surrounded by industrial, education, parkland, and residential used land. The Lane Cove Reserve houses more than 30 Aboriginal heritage sites which are indicated by the red spots. To record the biocultural values, a software called CyberTracker was used. Field data was collected with Android phones which was set up before going to the site. The software consists of a sequence of screens, each with a checklist of characteristic features of a biocultural valued plant. Once data has been filtered, it was exported to the computer and a map was formulated showing spots in which data was collected from when GPS was started to when it was stopped. Some plants that were identified as flowers, and each of them hold important Aboriginal biocultural values as well. The black bud is a common and dominant tree of the family Myrtaceae, native to southeastern Australia. It is a koala food tree and one of Australia's most important hardwoods. The flowers attract bees and its leaves are used for medicinal use. Commonly known as the narrow leaf jibang, the shrub is native to New South Wales and Victoria in Eastern Australia. The fruit are consumed by vertebrates such as kangaroo, possums and kurons. Sydney golden water is a species of acacia. The seeds are an important source of carbs and also has a sugary load. Its flowers attract bees and the plant can be used as herbal medicine. It can be used also as timber for tools and weapons. The blueberry lily is a perennial herb of the family as for Delacier. 
it usually grows to a meter high. Blue flowers in spring and summer are followed by the indigo colored berries, which are edible. The hatpin banksia is a species of woody shrub of the genus Banksia in the family Protaceae, native to eastern Australia. Its flower stalks are used for fire sticks and its nectar is good food to insects. The kangaroo apple bears are berries that are edible form of bush tomato, either fresh or dried. Commonly known as spiny head mattress, this is a perennial rhizomatous herb. This shrubby leaf plant is often used on roadside plantings. Indigenous Australians ground the seed for use in damper, and the long, flat, fibrous leaves were used for weaving. The base of the leaves contained water and was chewed by those in danger of dehydration. The grass tree is particularly valuable to Aboriginal people as they used its leaves for weaving bags. The flower stalks are great sources of fuel load for fire and the gum of the flower stalk were used as glue. All these trees held a significant biocultural value along Mars Creek. We value this diversity because its conservation contributes to the conservation of Aboriginal cultural identity. It also triggers critical thinking towards the present and future management of the area.